Now, I know the Phantom Gourmet is considered a family show, but today, my brother Dave Edelman is going to discuss his favorite four-letter word, and those four letters, Dave, are B-Y-O-B. Now, I know you love food. I know you love wine. So you love it when restaurants have a B-Y-O-B policy? Well, we have a lot of crazy uh, laws regarding alcohol due to prohibition and our Puritan roots. Boston yep. doesn't have BYOB at all. Right. But you head out to the suburbs, you find some of these BYOB restaurants, Danny. They are a party serving amazing food at incredible value. Right. And so then they allow you to bring your own wine into these places. Right. Let's start up in Gloucester. A great restaurant. There's a lot of great seafood in that area in general. Yep. And one of the best places is called The Causeway. Cool little restaurant, and they allow you to bring your own wine. I saw it on our show, and I happened to have a bottle of vodka and Bloody Mary mix in my place. Hmm. I drove straight to the causeway, started making myself drinks. I think they charge you a buck for a cup of ice, which I thought was very fair. <laughs> and I just started eating everything on the menu. I mean, I had to like call a friend and have him drive me home. I was having such a good time. They have fish chowder that is absolutely maybe the best I have ever had in my life. You can get a massive wok full of Italian style seafood over linguine, a fried fisherman's platter. Believe it or not, they have an enormous, fantastic chicken parm for under 15 bucks. And there is a liquor store next door, Dan. Uh -huh. So you can get all your liquor needs before you head into the cosmos. Right. You don't have to plan ahead. No. You can just go in there, grab a bottle of wine, and head in. All right. Now, if there was a uh, Dave Andelman Restaurant Hall of Fame, which maybe someday there will be in, <laughs> yeah. in Revere Beach, <laughs> right. uh, but one of your all-time favorite places is a place called Cafe Rosetti's. It's uh -huh. actually in Winthrop. That's your kind of place. And again, a BYOB spot. Yeah. Doesn't look like much from the outside. Table's very close together, but it's run by two brothers, Danny, much like you and I, mm -hmm. except that they are incredibly talented and hardworking. Right, so they're nothing like us. No, they're always <laughs> behind the kitchen. They are slaving away. They take enormous, enormous pride in what they do. And everybody's drinking their own wine and having their own beer. It's just such a fun atmosphere. This is classic Italian cuisine, super fresh. I love their pan-fried chicken with lemon, butter, and capers over ziti. The eggplant rollatini, shrimp scampi are amazing. I recommend the steak mafioso. Mm. This is grilled Angus sirloin smothered with prosciutto, mozzarella cheese, mushrooms, peppers, onions, and marinara sauce with salad and pasta for 25 bucks. Right, and when you add in that you can bring oh, your own wine, even okay. more affordable. Now let's go to another one of your favorite Italian restaurants. This one in Needham. A lot of people swear by this place called Sweet Basil. You're a huge fan. Yeah, you know how you get off a plane and your ears pop and you can hear again? Mm -hmm. That's how my taste buds feel at this restaurant. <laughs> you go in and you get soup. And you taste like 17 things right. in the soup. The owner is really talented and enthused, and that enthusiasm rubs off on the wait staff and the customers, Danny. Everybody's having their own drinks and enjoying this amazing food. You can't go wrong with these pastas, but I like the ravioli. Homemade, stuffed with four cheeses, served with some fresh basil marinara sauce. Dan, the, the fresh baked bread at this place yeah. is worth the price alone. You're right. Everything, oh. at, the, everything at Sweet Basil oh. is awesome. Okay. Smell of garlic is all over you. One last BYO ple uh, B BYOB place. Now, a lot of people know the name Captain Martin's. They yeah. see their seafood trucks. They have a seafood store. It's in Wellesley. A lot of people don't know yeah. there's a great restaurant right next door and, once again, a BYOB place. Yeah, you do have a little bit of a dining dilemma here because in the very uptight town of Wellesley, hey. there, are, there are no liquor stores. Hey, that's my hometown. Yeah, that, that does the thing. <laughs> they are uptight. <laughs> So you have to really map this one ahead. You have to go to another town, one of these heathen, <laughs> despicable, disgusting towns, and get your alcohol, <laughs> then go over to Captain Martin's. And, of course, the seafood is super fresh. They have a seafood kebab with broiled sword, shrimp, and scallops, just 17 bucks. Believe it or not, best thing here is the breakfast. Mm -hmm. You can get uh, crabs, eggs, Benedict, lobster omelet. Now, I'm not sure if you can go in there and make yourself a, a, a mimosa or a Bloody Mary. Right. I am going to try it. One day for breakfast sometime this week. Good luck. And if indeed that works out, give me a call the next I time. Will. I will meet you there. Okay, now up.